हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल वेब वेदा एज यू नो यू कैन लर्न लॉट्स ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स ऑन अवर चैनल एंड राइट नाउ वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द फोटोशॉप सब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स गो अहेड विथ अवर सीरीज अबाउट पाथ ऑपरेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न few options few tools now the last one we have in our path operations is the exclude overlapping shapes let's draw any random shape and keeping this layer shape layer selected move on path operations drop down and select the last fourth one exclude overlapping shapes as the name suggests it will exclude the overlapping area so if i take an ellipse and i draw about this base shape then what will happen it will exclude the overlapping area as you can see in this example you can always move this with path selection tool you can change the positions you can edit the shape whatever you want to do but all the time it will exclude the common overlapping area this is the main concept of this tool now uh also you can use multiple shapes as you know let's see with an example if i take this triangle sorry i have to select this layer again i have to move on this option and then if i draw a triangle then it will also exclude the overlapping areas by this way you can make interesting things in photoshop with just basic shapes now let's take another interesting example of this extrude tool say if i want to make a moon half moon then how i can get it easily with this tool i have made a ellipse again i made another big one keeping my eyes on this half portion that looks like half of the moon but at this point i have another section that is not needed so here with the path operations we are going to use multiple path options on a single layer means right now we have used exclude overlapping now we are going to use subtract front shape that we learned in our previous video i am taking this and I, when i draw a rectangle over this area that i want to exclude from my layer and i adjust this with the transform tool this help of path selection tool and i have done you can see we have one two and three shapes here in a single layer but what actually is visible is only what we want to show now if i fill this background with a black color and my moon to white color it's obvious that my moon 
will look like a real moon so hope you learned this thing it is very useful and with your imagination you can make different interesting things with this exclude option remember it's the last one from the drop down list exclude overlapping shapes so don't forget to subscribe this channel for more similar interesting videos and thanks 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 very much for watching this video